Today we're going to be answering or at least looking at the question of should you put a cover on, shouldn't you put a cover on and then I'm actually going to give you my idea on it which might not be either. So we're going to find out, let's get on with the video and see what's going on. We're going to have a, not a, not a, uh, a debate and we're not doing any maths but we're going to have a look around at some of the caravans that have just come in part exchange and then also looking at should we put a caravan cover on or shouldn't we and I don't know whether there's a real right answer but I think my answer that's coming is going to be the right answer but then it might not be for everybody. Nice little Swift Eccles 544 so this hasn't got the fixed bed it's got the side sort of dinette washer room at the back and this gives you the option to be able to put the bed up and leave the bed made up but then put it back to a seating area so it's a really versatile layout this is just coming for a part exchange Some people really don't like fixed beds do they no so that just gives you the the option doesn't it there um now we're getting to that time of year where we're thinking about possibly putting a cover on or not putting a cover on but then the questions come do we put a cover on don't we put a cover on is it good to put a cover on isn't it good to put a cover on so we're going to have a look at the positives the negatives and then what i think that you should actually do if you're going to do anything now i suppose the advantages to putting a cover on is that it protects the the caravan Obviously, if you've got your caravan in storage and it's by trees or anything like that, having a cover on, it's just going to give it nice protection. It's going to protect anything. So we've said it before about if looking, having a real good look, make sure we've got no cracks or anything like that. And if anything does happen, if it gets hit, anything like that, it's just going to protect it and stop water getting in. Obviously, once we've then washed the caravan down for the winter, we put our cover on and we pretty much know that when we come to it next year, it's it's as it was. Uh, we might need to give it a quick going over just to make sure that there's no dust and what have you, but majoritally it's, it's not going to need a massive cleaning through. Now one thing that the covers can create, and it depends on what cover that you go for, and, and this is where sort of it's not worth putting a cheap cover on um, that isn't going to allow the caravan to breeze because what will tend to happen is that you'll start to get the screws and bits and pieces like that start to rust up because if the caravan can't breathe properly and it's not a proper breathable cover it is going to start causing issues like that so one thing that you can do just to help that is we've said it before about opening the window and putting them on the second catch so that it allows a little bit of airflow to actually come through and what I'd say to do then is do that on a number of the windows and it'll just allow the caravan itself to breathe a little bit more. I think if we're going to put a cover on we're going to want to open all of the lockers into the upright position so that it can again breathe possibly remove the upholstery and if we're not going to re remove the upholstery then what I'd say to do is actually stack it up slightly just maneuvering it around putting it so it's sticking up and again it's just going to help everything breathe a little bit more now the other problem that you've got by putting a cover onto the caravan is that if you've not got a dedicated door and you need to come inside the caravan for anything it's just going to be a little bit awkward getting in and out of the caravan so again that then comes down to a proper fitted cover that's a proper breathable one but this is getting more expensive then so it's trying to work out whether the advantages of keeping it nice and clean keeping the weather off it possibly creating um, less problems with with anything getting into seals and things like that any cracks appearing and if anything were to happen over the winter the cover is going to protect it so there is there is definitely advantages to having the cover on but it's just sort of what works for you really and also how long are you going to keep the caravan i guess because some people swap every couple of years so exactly custom made cover it, it. yeah it's really then for that caravan and it's not really going to be um fitting other caravans so 
it's a difficult one and there's no real right or wrong answer and even on the cheaper covers that are sort of going to go over there um, it's still going to keep the weather off it keep it nice and clean but it's just then making sure that we've got that extra ventilation and i think even if you're not going to put a cover on you're still going to want to do similar sort of things you're going to want to make sure that your cupboards are open put out furniture as we've said keep your fridge in the open position um, either put a cloth inside of there and then let the let everything breathe we just we just want to make sure that sort of we've got a good airflow even without a cover um, but the, the the thing with the cover it, it is just going to restrict the actual caravan from breathing and even the most breathable covers i'd still say open a couple of the windows up now one thing that i really really like and what i would recommend to do is just a roof cover um, you can buy just literally the cover that is going to cover the top section of the caravans. They'll normally come over the roof slightly to, so far, they'll clip into place and what that does is that it protects all of our seals sort of on the tops of the awning rails, it protects the front part of the caravan on the front panel, it protects the most awkward parts um, where we're going to get any cracks or anything on the back panel and then it saves us that hassle of keeping the the roof clean so even if we're under trees yeah we might get a little bit of muck on the on the sides but we know that our roof cover is really nice and protected it's really easy to put a roof cover on so obviously a full cover it's definitely going to need two of you and they are a little bit awkward sort of getting over the caravan and then over the roof lights and then trying to get them in the right position make sure that they're all turned in the right place and then getting all the straps on etc whereas the roof cover it's probably still going to need two of you but it's literally just go straight over you've not got all the sides that you're going to be fighting with it's really easy to get into the right position um, and it's still going to give us the protection that we need and that is really if it was me that's what I would be doing is putting a roof cover on there um, we said it we, we sort of had the um, the big question the other week about putting moisture traps in or not and we found some moisture traps really cheap in one of the pound stretcher shops which is a little picture coming up now now I still sort of especially if you're going to put a cover on um, and even if it's a roof cover I still quite like the idea of putting moisture traps in because yet yeah, people say that they will draw moisture in from the outside that wouldn't have normally come in but it's drawing it into the moisture trap and not drawing it into everything else whereas your upholstery and different things within the caravan curtains materials and things like that they're still going to draw moisture in so at least if you've got moisture traps in there it's going into the moisture trap and not into everything else and wood and parts of the caravan so just my thought but i think if you're putting a cover on definitely definitely put those on crack the windows and make sure you've got that ventilation i don't think there's a right or wrong answer here it literally is what works for you and your situation obviously if you've got trees all around you you've got something that's going to make um, the, the caravan really really dirty front back sides etc then a full cover might work for you but it's just making sure that you do those precautionary steps cracking the windows probably put the moisture traps in there and you've given it the best possibility um, of chances then so that it's not going to cause any issues. One thing that I would say is if you're putting a caravan cover on is that you don't leave it on too long and then also possibly every couple of weeks just go down to the caravan, open the door up, try and lift up the side of the cover slightly if it's not a proper fitted cover, open some of the windows and just let the caravan air for a few hours. Just actually get some natural air through the caravan and let it breathe naturally like it should do with having the door and the windows open and that is going to make a big difference as well. So as I say, um, no real right or wrong answer my preferred option is just a roof cover i think i think you've got the best of both worlds it's not going to really create any funniness in the caravan it's not going to create anything that wouldn't normally happen uh, it protects all of the roof protects your front panel to a certain degree protects your back panel to a certain degree and stops us after to wash all that roof off and give it a real good clean um, and it's just a lot easier to put on and off so let me know in the comments what you think what you do what you found best do you use a cover don't you use a cover and again it's all stuff that people can then look at and sort of go 
well actually yeah for me that's going to work better or for me that's going to work better on sunday's video uh, oh and also on thursday's video we had a video come out on thursday there's a there's a little discount code coming up now for Hello Fresh. We looked at cooking in the caravan and um, we've got a cracking deal with Hello Fresh with 60% off, which I think if you go on the website, just normally you can get that but with our code you just get a few little extras and um, works out that you can go onto the website and get your first order 60 percent off and it's like two pound less than two pound per meal so even if you want to go on use it once and take advantage of that um you're not going to be able to buy all the ingredients and the food etc for for the money that it's going to cost you so well worth giving it a try if you don't like it you don't like it if you do carry on whatever you want to do but um I think it's actually a complete bargain with the 60% off with the Caravan 60 code. So uh, on Sunday, we have got, uh, we're going to be doing something with one of these pumps and we're going to show you how to create your own system to completely empty the water system um, so if you're putting the caravan away completely for winter you're going to want to watch our video on sunday thanks for watching we'll see you then on market the caravan place hit the subscribe button hit the like button and drop us a comment as i said thanks for watching